from this beautiful building. Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a sit down video with you guys because some people have been asking me about the student accommodation in Suzhou. So I thought I would make a video about it. As a matter of fact, before I came to Suzhou, I had a lot of difficulty understanding the accommodation situation as well. I did try and find some videos about it on YouTube without success. So I totally understand where you guys are coming from and I'm going to make a video um, about it for you guys today. So basically there are three types of accommodation that XJTLU offers. They can all be found on their accommodation page on their website. I will put a link to that in the description down below. So if you go to the site, you can see that there are three options for international students and also a few options for uh, Chinese students. Uh, however, I have no idea how the Chinese student system really works, so I'm going to be focusing on the international student system. So the first accommodation that you can rent is the Parfait International Apartment. This is the most popular choice, and this is where most uh, students stay. This accommodation comes with a shared living room, and you're either sharing it with four or six people. The shared living room comes with a couch, a coffee table, TV, a dining table. There's a kitchen, so you are able to cook, and you also have a fridge and a microwave oven, and that's about it. Then. This living room is either shared with four or six people. Each person has the same size room and a ensuite bathroom. So basically, there, there are studios with a common living room and four or six ensuite uh, rooms. This accommodation, this type of accommodation, as I mentioned, is the most popular and there isn't much wrong with the accommodation as, um, as far as I'm aware of. There is Wi-Fi that comes with the accommodation. The only thing you need to do is buy a router for yourself. Furthermore, the washing machines there, every floor has washing machines and they are always available, which is also a huge plus point. The price of the accommodation depends uh, on when you start living there. It always changes, but currently the people that I know that are living there, they are paying a sum of 65 RMB a night. The second option is the Parfait International Hotel and Apartment. So the first option is called Parfait International Apartment. And the second option is called Parfait International Hotel and Apartment. So the difference here is in the word hotel. If you stay in the International uh, Parfait Hotel and Apartment, you get this room, this room that I am staying in. I actually uh, showed you guys a tour of my room in my first video, um, my move-in vlog. I will link the video up here for you guys in the iCard, so you can click over there to get a, a bigger overview of the room. So pros and cons of living here compared to the Parfait apartments is, first of all, we do not get Wi-Fi with the room. If you want Wi-Fi, uh, or internet, I mean, you need to pay for it separately. Whereas in the other rooms, even though you don't get Wi-Fi, you have to pay for a router yourself, you do have the internet. So if you can use cable internet or whatever, you have internet. All you need to do is buy a router. Here, you need to get a subscription for Wi-Fi and you need to buy a router. So the room does not come with internet. Secondly, um, where I told you before, the washing machines in the other rooms, there are simply, uh, there are about five or six washing machines on each floor. In this 
hotel and apartment there's only one washing machine room and there's only two washing machines or three it depends because half of the time one of them is broken so we only, we're only left with two for the entire building so to be able to do my washing here i usually have to stand in line for quite a while hope you know i get a turn to wash my clothing however at the same time i do have a bigger room I have a double sized bed. I have a TV, which you also get in the other rooms, except in the common area instead of in your own room. I have my own refrigerator, my own uh, microwave convection oven, and the bathroom is about the same as in the other rooms. Furthermore, this room does not come with a kitchen, and we are actually not allowed to cook here. So even if you would buy your own um, portable stove or whatever, it doesn't matter, you're not allowed to cook here. Actually, most of the students that are living in this building live together with someone, a significant other. Because most students, as I mentioned, live in the first option. Momentarily, uh, again, the price for this room differs uh, throughout the year, but currently I am paying 80 RMB a day. Now the third option is the MBA apartments. The MBA apartments are apartments that I haven't uh, personally seen on the inside, but I've only heard rumors about. As a matter of fact, um, I have heard the university not recommend these rooms to the students because the living comfort doesn't uh, seem to be that great. First of all, the rooms do not come with heaters, so in the winter you will be reasonably cold. But these rooms are basically uh, three bedroom apartments and you share, the, you share the, the entire apartment. So there's a shared bathroom and a shared, shared kitchen area, except there isn't an actual kitchen. You, uh, again, you can't cook there. So you can't cook there and there's no heating um, and you don't have your own, own personal ensuite bathroom. So these rooms are the cheapest, um, except also the least popular. As I mentioned, I don't know anyone that lives there. I haven't seen it from the inside. I've only heard negative stuff about it. So for the first two options, the Parfait International Apartments and the Parfait International Hotel and Apartments, upon arrival, you need to deposit 3,000 RMB plus uh, pay 500 RMB in utilities, uh, which is a pay-as-you-go system. So they just keep track of how much you, of the water and heating and electricity you've used. And when you finished it, they stick a note on your door they tell you to come down and pay for it again and as soon as you arrive you also have to pay one month uh, worth of rent so that's the same for both type of accommodations as for the location of the student accommodations the Parfait International Hotel and Apartment and the Parfait International Apartments the first two options are actually located right next to each other and they're both um, 20 to 30 minutes away from the university walking and only about um, two minutes or three minutes with the bus. The MBA apartments are actually located closer to the university. So that's about it. If you guys have any other questions about the accommodation here, please feel free to leave a comment down below and ask me. I will be answering the questions. Um, because I know it can be a little bit confusing when you uh, are trying to figure out, you know, where you want to stay. So I hope this video helped you guys out and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye guys!